what's up guys once again you're welcome to our channel today all right guys uh lamidia papa the disgraced labor party factional chairman uh who claim he is the acting chairman of labor party who is popularly also referred to as babalao uh has recounted his audio today in the channel's television and what actually transpired according to him he said he was almost lynched i'm going to play the video you are going to listen to the audio how he narrated exactly from his own perspective what actually ensued that uh, yesterday so and uh, he had to thank god that he's still alive because he would have been lynched he would have been killed that yesterday and uh, you know many people keep wondering why is it that this old man according to information according to kenneth okong why he's 78 years old 78 years old is supposed to be at home with his grandchildren but i mean this man is out there in you know uh disgracing himself uh, so i so i wouldn't take long i wanted to just listen to this uh what he said his own ordeal part of the story just listen to this video after the close of the program i was moving out these boys came they are from they are from aburi because aburi and uh, uh, peter obi they confronted me that they won't allow me to speak to the press i say why yes that y yes that yesterday that they won't allow me to speak to the press. I say, I have the right to speak to this press. It was during that argument that they began to push me. They were pushing me, they removed my cap, they were shouting thief. Until police came to my rescue and I was taken to the police station for, for some time before we used their car to take me out of the premises. It was a very bad day. If not the with the the, the the press men that were around, I would have been dead. They tried to lynch me, and I know it's done. They caught premises. Yeah, they caught premises. They wanted to lynch me. And that's the end of uh, Aburi and uh, Peter Obi. He organized it. Uh, so, uh, obviously, I mean, you're, you're in court. I mean, the reason why you have emerged acting. National Chamber of the Party. Of the party. That's what because I was there. there is a big dispute in court yes. um, over the chairmanship of the party. Um, and it doesn't appear that the other members of the party recognize you as the chairman or acting chairman of the party. Not that they don't know you. I mean, I'm, I imagine that they've seen you before. Maybe they have even interacted with you. But that position is currently in contention. So when you went to court yesterday, was this something that you envisaged could happen? Well, as a human being, you, you don't expect things to go all the time the way you plan it. Uh, what I was told, uh, there was a pre-court meeting between my people and Ogi Obi group. And when they came, they said in that meeting, there was argument over who will lead the party when they, when they came, who will lead the team. And my people insisted that anywhere I am and the party has a program, I should lead. Who are your people? No, I'm, I'm talking about my school. They went to see Obi group. And uh, those who went, uh, Arabambi was there, Daramola was there, uh, Mike, uh, uh, engineer Mike was there all right guys so um uh a lot of people have actually wondered why is lamedia papa so bent on destroying labor party that he will risk his life he will go all the way to risk his life to carry out that kind of dangerous assignment because everybody all knows that lamedia papa is sponsored by apc there are different locations where arabami the spokesperson to Lamidia Papa, I've been seen with. I saw a picture of him with um, uh, the Osho State, is it Ogun State? Ogun State Governor, where he lifted the hand of Ogun State Governor. This guy here, his spokesperson. So you can see that these people are not real Labour Party members. According to him, he claims he has been in the system for 21 years. 21 years is not enough to actually prove loyalty, one could be compromised at any time. So Nigerians have wondered why would this man undertake such kind of a hideous tax, very dangerous tax to to undermine Labour Party, to undermine Obi's own mandate. 
after everybody we are we have not even recovered obedience have not even recovered from the the, the the mandate that was stolen and then this man again wants to come and attempt to withdraw Peter B's case from court he came to court yesterday and threatened to and uh, represent Labour Party. I think the the judge actually shut him down that Peter Obi will be representing Labour Party and not him. Since there's already argument that they represent, they will recognize Peter Obi. So, so guys, I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.